We're going through hell, and I have the inspiration of your cat actually to help me through it. Oh God! <laughs> As I came in today, uh, that's, that's terrifying. Well, I saw I saw uh, Barnabas, your one-eyed cat. Yeah. Um, Do we have we introduced Barnabas? I don't know. Go ahead, you want to get a little backstory on it before I oh, set up the well, scenario. Poor Barnabas is Rachel's cat from before we were together. He's like 16 now, so very old for a cat. And uh, he was born <clears throat> with a, a sinus infection or some kind of infection behind his eye. So they had to remove one of his eyes. And um, he has chronic uh, sinus issues ever since. He can shoot a glob of snot easily six feet <laughs> from his sneeze. Yeah. Um, and they are these are big globs of snot. He is the most disgusting cat ever, and yet he is the friendliest, cuddliest cl cat ever as well. Which gets really complicated when you're like, oh, don't touch me, you've got snot hanging <laughs> yeah. off your face. But I love you, you're very nice, you know. Very nice. Um, anyhow, he, he's, he's just, he holds a special place in everyone who meets him's heart. <laughs> that, was, heart. that was a grammatically odd way of saying that statement, but yeah. Anyone who meets Barnabas loves Barnabas, even as gross as he is. It's just a very, very special interaction. So now that he's set up, what what did you... So I walked in, and it was standing on the uh, computer chair. and uh, But the way he was standing was like that, like, cat, like, I'm trying to think, like, dragon pose, where, the, like, the legs were back. And as I walked in... Dragon pose! I, I mean, so this... Because I, I don't know, so... She was meow, or he was meowing, uh -huh. and it was, but like it was like this, like with the one eye and the like, looked like a dragon. Like, I'd like to bring up real quick you and your gender pronouns. It, okay, <laughs> you have some weird. That's not Jake the dog is a yeah, female. but Barnabas is a male name. Period. And yes, Jake that. the dog is a female. We we've established that on the show. It is weird. It, well, it's, it's I'm never gonna get it right. I'm never gonna. Get it. Anyways, Barnabas, the man cat. Is uh, it was just great sitting on the top of the chair, like perched, and uh, the meow it made, like it was like a silent meow, I guess. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. The kind of cracking but, meow he does, yeah. The... But with like the eyes peeling back or the eye peeling back, and then like yeah, I was the, gonna say only one for him. <laughs> um, it was just like this great like uh, majestic dragony pose, and I was like, man, I have a hard time, with, especially with my my setup description. Thinking of Barnabas majestically. Majestically? <laughs> yeah. But it was. I don't know. I mean, he's, Barnabas he's is a really cool so looking cat, gross. too. Really gross with the snot, but really yeah. awesome in general. He is awesome. Yeah, for sure. But he is he is gnarly. <laughs> hey. We can't go silent, Rachel. <laughs> it's it's for Oh, I looked it up and it. Uh, it's written by Spring Okay. So. Oh. This is going to be a day late and, and more than a buck short, um, because this is the next episode, but on the last episode we were trying to figure out who wrote... Revved up like a douche. <laughs> blinded by the light, yeah, yeah, and uh, Rachel is telling us that it's not Springsteen. He wrote it. He wrote it, yeah. So the, the comments will have already told us this, probably, <laughs> and yelled at us for being idiots. But okay. thank you, Rachel. Oh, I had it. Manfred Manns. That's that's. Yeah, I didn't think it was Springsteen singing it because that just felt weird. But I don't know where I got the idea. Elton John's never done a version of "Blinded by the Light." Mm. I can't even imagine what that would sound like. Why are you guys being so harsh? Well, it's <laughs> trying to. I mean, I guess it's got a kind of a similar inflection, like "Blinded by the Light." That's not Elton John. <laughs> that's Elton John. <laughs> that's just your Matt Berry voice again. I, I, that's that's it's true. I, I can't I can't yeah. do anything else at this point. Yeah. Matt Berry is slowly taking over all my accents. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm okay with that. I'm, oh. uh, one day Matt Berry will be my real voice. Yeah, Rachel, what yours in the way? <laughs> I like oh my, and it's okay. Walk I'm just in back front of the me. screen. Um, anyways, I like to believe that one day Matt Berry will be a sentient living entity in my voice. Jeez. Um, <laughs> Tick through these. So, so I'm, I'm going to give you some challenging uh, questions, then, Joe. Okay. You have to kill one person. It's kind of, it's kind of the a variation of, of the classic three-person game, but it's going to be it's going to be a two-person game. You have to kill one of these two people: Noel Fielding or Matt Berry. 
I, oh, I, I don't I don't get like there's no other. Okay. There's no other option. You're just killing one um, of them. You have to. So I guess it really comes down to which ghost do I want haunting me, and the answer to that is <laughs> no fielding. So I kill no fielding. <laughs> no um, fielding has the ghosts haunting you would be pretty good, but but. But what if there's no ghosts? What if you're wrong about that idea and you end up just taking him away from the world? Um, oh god. Oh god, what? Taking you away? Oh no. I know, right? Uh, so this, this is unfair. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? This is this is the point. You've got to pick, man. All right. So let, let me. I like me, your ghost answer, but if you don't right. know that there's ghosts, let me that, really weigh yeah. it. So actually, you know what? I'm just going to take that question off the table. Why? Because now I want to know. Do you actually believe in ghosts? No, no. <laughs> um, but I'm so it doesn't when stand. Do. It doesn't stand. Then. You're right. You can't, I mean, but yeah. it's kind of a hypothetical question. You get a hypothetical answer. Um, it's well, I think you have to answer within the the rules of the the game. So. Uh, oh, I could have had that. Yeah. Um. All right. So. I, I think I cherish Noel Fielding's mind more than I cherish Matt Berry's voice. I think so. Um, and I, I think I that need, would be my choice too. Like, yeah. Matt Berry is a great performer, um, and I, I want him in everything. Um, but I just don't know. I should probably actually wait till this gets down there. I think I'm right there. All right. Um. Anyway, so okay, let me think of if I, if I can give you one. Oh, um, sure. Let me think sure. of two. two uh, I was I was figures. willing to talk about ghost stuff too. We, I think we can get back to that in a minute once you tell me which one you want to be a ghost and which one <laughs> you want to kill forever. Um, uh, I've, so I've got one. I'm trying to figure out what the second one is. All right. Really, I'm having a hard time. Yeah. Thinking of that who that who is those who are important to you. Um, <laughs> yeah. Rachel or Jake the dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I made myself sad. Um, man, so Bruce Campbell's on there, right? Oh, God. Yeah. All right. Um, he, he already wins. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, and that's the challenge. Or I, yourself. <laughs> what? No. No! Person. Gross! Hold on. Ra Rachel probably didn't get picked up on the mic, because there's no mic that's really pointed at her. She just asked if we were playing <laughs> sex, murder, kill with her and the dog. And no, that is not at all what we're playing. What we're playing is you get two people and you have to kill one of them. Who do you kill? Oh, I think. <laughs> Why? Why? Why near the dog? Oh, because R Joe was trying to come up with one for people I care about, and I said, you two. It was a hypothetical, not the actual pose question. Yeah, this is going to be the worst episode, because none of what you're saying is probably getting picked up on mic. Well, so I we're responding. Oh, oh yeah, who do you kill? <laughs> oh, uh, probably Rachel. That's... <laughs> She's just um, shaking her leave? head. <laughs> I mean, Rachel. Oh, I had it. Oh, God. <laughs> I still don't think you're on mic. You gotta get closer if you want to be on the show. Come on. No, I just want to ruin things for you. Uh-huh. She wants to ruin things for me. I have no idea how much is being picked up, so this is really awkward. Because it is kind of potentially ruining a show. <laughs> what did you get for saying you're gonna murder me? Well, maybe well, I want to kill you because uh, you're potentially ruining the show. I mean, this is... <laughs> oh, I, 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 like... Aww. Oh, I was actually looking at thinking of who, who comes with Bruce Campbell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I still want to hear it. We got time. Yeah. Um, you got to find the other one to go with Bruce Campbell. Man. I feel like you can't kill a dog. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, it does the thing. <laughs> oh. You have to choose your wife because you can't kill a dog. Um, oh, this is the most awkward episode ever. Yeah. <laughs> Man, and now I'm like completely derailed in my brain mind. <laughs> all right, all right. What we, I mean, the what problem is I'm gonna pit. If I if I tried to answer, I would just pit someone lesser than Bruce Campbell so that I can keep Bruce Campbell alive. <laughs> I don't know if there's anyone I can think of who who makes it a challenge. Yeah, that's actually. Um. Ooh. So whatever you pick, Bruce Campbell stays. All right. Well, here's a here's a variation on it. Which <laughs> would be oh, the your, who would you want to be a ghost haunting you? If All you right. To, or who, All right. 
What, 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 who would you choose as a ghost haunting you? Because haunting is, I guess, a bad thing, but potentially an entertaining thing. Yeah, that's tough because you would want someone fun, right? But mm -hmm. you don't want their fun to be like, like they lose all perspective on life, mm -hmm. and so they would just do what they think is fun and, and torture you. Um, can we pick from already dead? I guess. Because Robin Williams would be a pretty fun oh, answer. Yeah. Um, but the same thing I was just saying applies. Like, it would be pretty terrible. So maybe, oh gosh, maybe I go with someone really intelligent, actually. And, and go that way, like... Like, Stephen Hawking's not dead, but if we don't have to pick a dead person, if we're picking someone future passing, <laughs> uh, he would be a really good one, right? Like, you could just have answers to all kinds of questions. Mm. Presumably he can talk as a ghost. Yeah. <laughs> or I guess, some... You want, I mean, the, the, I guess the point is the personality that you're being yeah. by, so... Neil deGrasse Tyson? Oh, that'd be a good one. That would be a good one. He would be fun to hang out with. <laughs> It's a ghost. Okay, let me just... Let me just... Please don't well, die here. Well, it's yeah. gonna go back up in a second. I just need to... Need some clearage. Sure. And then you're gonna clearage. clear right across to the other clearage. side. Uh, Alright. Well, guys, let us know who you would want to haunt you. Um, and the bigger question, who would you kill? Me or Nick? Oh, oh, oh yeah. Please mark it down in the comments below. Yeah, I want to hear that. <laughs> you have to kill one of us. Who do you kill? Keep watching Instant Replay Live. <laughs> really kick it. Kick Yo, it. plans, free stroke, Sonic Golf. Sonic Golf.